Welcome to the fifth kind. They will mingle with humans and drive them into all manner of recklessness and crime, into wars and theft and frauds, and all things hostile to the bodies and souls of human beings. I believe that what Hermes foretold in this 2,000-year-old text, we're living through right now. Do you know, Asclepius, that Egypt is an image of the heavens? Or to speak more exactly, in Egypt, all the operations of the powers which rule and work in the heavens are present in the earth below. In fact, it should be said that the whole universe exists in this our land as in a sanctuary. And yet, since it is fitting that wise men should have knowledge of all events before they come to pass, you must not be left in ignorance of what I will now tell you. There will come a time when it will have been in vain that Egyptians have aspired to the ways of higher beings in heartfelt piety and service. All our holy worship will become powerless and pointless. The higher beings will return to the heavens. Egypt will be left and forgotten, and the land desolate with not one of the ancient deities remaining. O oh, Egypt, Egypt of thy religion, nothing will remain but an empty tale, which in time even your own people will not believe. Nothing will be left but words engraved on stone, and only the stones will speak of your piety. And in that day, people will be tired of life, and they will cease to think of the universe as something worthy of reverence and wonder. People will no longer love the world around them. This incomparable work of the Creator, this glorious structure, this totality of good comprising so many diverse forms, this instrument through which the Creator operates in everything He has made, freely favoring human welfare, this combination and accumulation of all the manifold things that call forth the veneration, praise, and love of the beholder. Darkness will be preferred to light, and death will be thought more profitable than life. No one will raise their eyes to the heavens. Good, spiritual people, seekers of truth, will be considered insane. The vulgar and careless will be considered wise. The madman will be thought a strong man, and the wicked will be held up as good. As for the soul, and the belief that we are immortal,